Hello, it's Felonius, who is going to yap again. Bakerbell was mentioning books at one point, and that really got me thinking again. I love books. I really love books. Uh, books is the only thing that can make me feel happy. Uh, it probably books is probably what have keep kept me from being depressed all my life. It's always filled with me with imaginary things, and I can live a totally different life by just reading a book. And I can also relax by reading a book. It's all about the book. But I have a reason also to be a collector. Uh, collecting books, however, is not always the best thing. Now, I do have a couple of collections that I that I want to have. I don't have any reason for them. Well, one I have. It's the Twin Detectives. It's a Swedish series about 42 books. Um, and I just read through them when I was 10, 12 years old. And I love them. Today I think they are very useless. Bad written and all that. But still, it was part of my growing up. So that's why I kept them and I have collected them all 42. And actually Ron's got a copy, an English version, uh, somewhere. Uh, in a PDF file and that's not the same thing, is it? No. But collecting otherwise, except for Pratchett, um, I don't see really see the reason anymore. I mean, I asked my son would he love to keep my books? I was interested in my books. If I go, if I die, he's the one who's going to stand there and throw it all away. So I was asking him, is this something that you want? And he said, nope. <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't read much. He does read sometimes, but not that often. And it's mostly manga. Um, but still, nope, he, he's not interested in my books. And I can see that. I can really see that because we are from a couple of different types of generations apart. And we have a different background um, for several reasons. And then he's into this new generation where everything should be on computer. And, well, why not? You do that. I'm a paper man myself. So um, so I started to think again. Where should you really have all your books? Now, there is something obvious. Bookshelf. I mean, it, it says itself. You should have your books in a bookshelf. But I have always wondered why. Well, I, I do love to have my books up and about but the main reason that I have my books displayed is of course bragging rights it's no other thing this is what I read yes this is very good literature yes but it isn't most of it isn't it at all and it's all about bragging rights it's all about showing the people that are visiting you this is my library how is yours because books is important. <laughs> it is. I mean, when I was younger, bleh, yeah, I was always referring to people with no reading or reading wrong books or something like that. I always asked people, what do you read? And, <laughs> well, most people all said, I don't read. I don't like books. And I was going, hmm didn't say it out loud, but I was thinking, oh, so you're one of those, eh? And I looked down upon them. I don't know, really know why, because it's no wrong not reading. It's, it's just not me. Um, so um, I had that as some sort of leveling in how who you were in my book. Oh, there we go again. But as age go, grows, the books that I have kept to read on an older date, when I get older, I've thrown them away as well. 
I have given away to charity. I have given away to second hand, sold some. Uh, some of my collections from after my father, I've sold them too. Mostly because I think someone else has more joy of them than I have. They are just sitting there in a box or two boxes or 50 boxes or whatever. And they're not, they're not going anywhere. And I'm not really keen anymore to show off whatever I have. Mostly because there's no one actually visiting me. So there's no one to show them to. The only books that I do ha have up is the pop books that I'm reading now. Of course, and all the rule books that I need for my role playing games. Um, of course, it's only one person I know that would agree on, of course. Um, and then I have my Pratchett's, my Pratchett books. And I hope I do have my Douglas Adams books up as well. Because they are like good old friends to me. They are books that I can go back and just read a passage and just say, he <laughs> yes, I like this one, I like this one. I had actually the Tolkien books as well, but no, not anymore. There is one thing that I really don't really, really, really don't bother with, and that is the movies. Um, I have read the... Lord of the Rings, I think it's six times or something like that. But I still haven't watched the movies. I've seen the first one, but they weren't the ones that... They are not... No, Hobbits shouldn't look like that. And that Legolas... Ugh, what a slur... No, 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 that's not... That's totally wrong. And there was some other guys. I know these are uh, actors... They are not in the Tolkien books. They are not in the Lord of the Rings. But you need actors, right? So, yeah. And Elijah Wood as a Hobbit? Come on. And then I had big problems with Martin Freeman as the Hobbit. But I've seen all three of them. Mainly because the real Hobbit book, the real little one, it's so thin. It's a, an adorable uh, fairy tale. And I, they can't just do something wrong with it but actually I, otherwise I don't watch the movies if I have read the book and liked it if I have read the book and didn't like it or didn't bother like the James Bond movies or the Agatha Christie then I can watch the movie and I must say when it comes to Agatha Christie uh, the guy who's playing Hercule Poirot David Suchet he's doing a grand job of it uh, so actually watching those is better than reading the dusty old books sometimes books it's very important and you should try to make people read more I think that is good it's a good education sort of um, thanks for watching listening <laughs> Bye.